Minion Plays. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to Minion Plays, and welcome back to Virtual Stupidity. In the last episode, we went and ripped the rabbit apart. <laughs> If you don't believe me, go back and watch. All right. I'm not going to explain any further than that. If you done, if you missed that and you're watching this one out of order, what are you doing? What? What are you? What you? What you? What you? What? What you doing, Terry? What the? What, what you doing, Terry? Terry, what's up? All right. So, um, we have. We have the eyeball. We got to go back to the prison. No, no, we don't. The dog is in the way. We got to go to the gas station. Okay, we take that. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Air have a really big schlong. <laughs> That's inappropriate, guys. That's really inappropriate. <laughs> okay. Damn, look at that dollar fifteen for gas, man. Jesus Christ, I miss that era. Never again will we see that. So we take and go to the shul. Okay. Is McVicker still up there? Yeah, there he went. Okay. We gotta go inside and talk to old man Jenkins. I think his name's Jasper. I can't remember. I cannot remember this man's name. I can't remember everything, damn it. Y'all expect too much. Here, let me show you something. Uh oh, Beavis. That guy has killed Beavis, I think, twice. Whoa, hey, check it out. It's like a dog or something. <laughs> oh, oh, I love little critters. <laughs> uh, thanks, mister. I'm wanting to say that that guy, he's a farmer, too. And there was an episode where they went cow tipping and the, one of the cows fell on Beavis and this guy like came out there with a chainsaw and cut the cow up with Beavis under it. And there was another situation in Halloween where this dude, for some reason, like put Budhead under a spell and they put Beavis up on a hook. Just like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and... They put a chainsaw to him. <laughs> that was a Halloween episode. It probably doesn't count. But you know what? That's twice that Beavis died by that man's hand. And since this happened in the game with the shotgun, um, does, does that count as cannon? I count it. Don't you? Okay, so we made a dog. A little wolf wolf. Okay. So we got to go to the prison. See that dog there? Let's give it to him. <laughs> he likes it. Okay, now we need these bolt cutters that look just like pliers. Hey, dude. Um, not what I meant to do. Why is it not? There we go. He wants that. <laughs> it's inappropriate. <laughs> did that hurt? Maybe I'll go I hope somewhere. it did. That would be cool too. Save the sp Save the sperm whale. Yay. Take the hammer. <laughs> Break stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Tools rule. Now, apparently there was a Beavis and Butthead game in the works back in 1998 for the PlayStation that was supposed to be um, like a 3D game, kind of like Mario 64. But it never came out. It got canceled. That would have been a blast. It was called Beavis and Butthead Go to Ho or Beavis and Butthead Do Hollywood. And I would love to know. Uh, maybe one of you, fine young buddies, might know if it ever came out. If if you do know anything about it, 
Hey, let me know in the comments because I would love to know. Um, because, man, that would be fantastic if I could find, like, a ROM of that. Or I guess it would be, I guess it would be a disk image, right? Or something. Who knows? I, I don't, I'm not good at this emulation stuff, man. But if I could find that, I could put it on my PlayStation Classic, and that'd be the, the really awesome because I would love to play it because I just learned about it today. Oh, look, we got an eye for that man. Looks great. Another eye, you could finish the book faster and give it to us. You knew that was just a joke, right? Uh, no. What a jerk. Give me the book, dickhead. I'm grateful to you boys for getting me this eye. Uh, so <laughs> you to crap and give us that dirty book now? Well, seeing as you went to all this trouble, it's the least I could do. <laughs> Diddies. Is she wearing dirty? pants or is that her knees? You ripped us off, dude. <laughs> all right. Let's go. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yep, he's <laughs> still staring off into space, man. What the hell is he looking at? This is optional, but we're going to give this book to this man because there's no boobs in it. If there's no boobs in it, we don't care, now do we? <laughs> Again, this last rites. It is McFoley. I was trapped in darkest night, but this book helped me to see the light. My soul's at peace, and so am I, even if I do indeed finally fry. Finally fry. It's time. No way, man. I just got this book. <laughs> I love how he went normal for just a second. <laughs> oh, wait. That was an optional. We needed his teeth. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Ooh, that couldn't have been good, could it? All right, well, we we got his teeth. as the teeth of a dead man, I guess, because they... What, they didn't waste no time, man. They read him his fucking rights, and he was dead within seconds. Let's go. We got to give an old man... We got to give an old farmer some teeth. Because remember, he said he needed some teeth. So let's do that. Yay! Uncle Heath Gravy. Here, dude. Try on these teeth. <laughs> Thanks, fella. That's right kind of you. Now I can eat solid food again. Looky here, they fit like a tight rubber glove. Reb, for her pleasure. <laughs> All right, hey, sorry about that. Dead gummit. My recording on my my program uh, maxed out. All right, so son of a bitch. I guess I can just leave in the part where he got the teeth, but my commentary cut out. Son of a bitch. Can I take that fork? We can't go inside, butt knocker. We need the remote. Why not? Door's closed, still weed. Okay. Technical issues. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Okay, so we did that with the teeth. We need to go back to the coffee shop. No. Fuck. <sighs> this is where I always forget what I'm doing. Okay, we need to go maybe to, um, is it back to here? No. Shiza. Uh, is it here? You know, keep talking to her? Boys, I have too much work to do to get involved in any of your nonsense. Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We took her pin. 
so we can go to the park. The whole reason we went to a couple of places was to do this dumb thing here. <sighs> okay. Protect the pin. That one. There we go. A free he can't car. spell car. Uh, take me. Take me. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was excited. Help, help. I am being stolen. Help, help. I am being stolen. Help, help. I am being stolen. Holy crap. Where the heck <laughs> is my car? Uh, I think your car went for a walk or something. I got a friend that looks just like the, the guy. Save my space. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it could do that. Well, thanks. I guess I'll just wait for it to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. You ain't never heard of a Tesla? They can just take off on their own. <laughs> All right. We're going to jam that in there. I'm having a look around my microphone as if I didn't do it as if I've never seen this. Yeah, but you didn't tell me not to, dumbass. Boy, that's logic. That that kind of logic. I'm gonna go on a tangent for a minute. That kind of logic right there pisses me off beyond belief. Like, and it it, it should be clear that Butthead is a fucking idiot um, because of that logic just now. So, all right. So, he, he was like, you didn't tell me not to, so it's your fault. That's mental gymnastics at its finest. And I mean at its fucking finest, man. I knew a dude one time. I'm not going to mention names, you know. I'm just going to tell a story because it could be anybody. I knew a dude one time who... Uh, we were skateboarding one day. What was I doing? Oh, got to go here. We were skateboarding one day, and this guy decided he's going to go down this big-ass hill, right? And since I didn't say, hey, man, don't do that, when he busted his ass, it was my fault. Because I wasn't like, hey, man, don't do that, even though he goes, man, I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm going down that hill. Mental gymnastics for people to blame anybody but their damn selves about what they fuck up don't be that guy don't ever be like that guy and that guy he should be really fucking ashamed of himself and anybody who acts like that needs to be ashamed of themselves as well ain't nobody did that but you Tangent over. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Fuck you. All right, let's go ahead and give this squirrel to this guy here. This uh, crazy... Oh, shit, what are we doing? You bastard. All right. We're going to go ahead and give this squirrel to this man because he's crazy and he wants him. Yay! Oh, 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 oh it's a new friend. A new friend. Oh, how pretty. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Is that squirrel pretty? What a freaking weirdo. <laughs> oh, man. Dadgummit. Well... And we're going to go ahead and say, next time on Minion Plays. <laughs>